Just when you thought it was over, it is back again full force. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Kupret Pulev and Jenny Suchet. Now with a twist, they go after Bob Arum. According to Jenny Suchet and her lawyer, um, Gloria Aldright, Ridge, or Aldright, they have commented or set up a meeting about the comments that Bob Arum made in a video from IFL TV. And in this video, he explained it in his own way what happened with Kuprat and Jenny Suchet. You know the incident that happened when Kuprat did the infamous kiss <clears throat> and broke the internet. All right, it went viral, and a lot of people had their uh, sayings about it. Uh, later on that night, Jenny Suchet was caught lap dancing in, at a party, which she's supposed to be a member of the press, which, you know, I found that was very strange. However, um, Kubrat Pulev was suspended for six months, and he, he was told by the California Athletic Commission to take a sexual harassment course. He is supposedly taken the course and because until he does take the course, he can't be reinstated. So um, July 22nd is coming up, which is next month. <clears throat> and that's when his license is up for review. OK. And the problem is it wasn't what Kuprat Pulev has done lately. It's what Bob Aram has said lately. OK, which is the 15th of June in this interview. And basically what he said offended Jenny Suchet. So her and Gloria, her, her lawyer, are out for blood. You know, Bob Arum called Gloria Aldridge uh, a shit disturber. Yeah, you're right, Bob. She is a shit disturber. And she is coming after you and disturb you because of the comments that you made. Now, Gloria had a lot to say. You know, she made it known that this affects the credibility of Jenny Suchet. It affects her present work, because I haven't seen her in anything since that incident. You know, maybe she hasn't. You know, my guess is they're after money. They're after some kind of settlement. You know what I mean? And... <clears throat> Gloria is there to make sure that what Bob Arum said in that interview is it really wasn't a crime of what Kuprad said. Of course, this is freedom of speech, but like Gloria said, that there is consequences for speaking your mind on video. OK, and. Bob was really saying that. A lot of things that are labeled sexual harassment isn't really sexual harassment and he knows what sexual harassment is and that isn't it okay those are the things he said in that video now jenny suchet made her own um comments concerning what happened and she basically <sighs> she basically said that you know i did not do the things that bob aram said i did you know i did not reapply for uh, to um, to be a part of a fight card. And like Bob Arum said, she kept being persistent and she wanted to be um, a part of, she wanted to cover that fight. That's why they, they said they first denied her for even coming to that fight. But then she joined up with some newspaper that no one heard of. That's why they gave her a break and allowed her to... Um, be a part of that press. Kuprad Pulev supposedly knew her before then. They had met, I think, a day before, according to what Jenny Suchet said. And <clears throat> she basically was upset because of how Bob Arum responded about her case, saying her case really isn't a big deal, saying that that her she didn't really have any room to do what she claimed to do now let me give my counter punch on this i think that 
Bob Arum has a point. And Gloria Allridge has a point. Let's look at both sides. We have Bob Arum being 85 years old. And things are different in his time. Um, sexual harassment meant something that was physical, which was a physical altercation. You know, you kissed her on the lips and then she added that he grabbed her on the ass, which no one else was around but besides him and her. You know what I mean? But the kiss didn't make that any better. You know, the question would be, what would happen if she if he if the kiss wasn't even there? What kind of case would this be? You know what I mean? We don't have any trail to see that he grabbed her ass or anything. It's just her word against his, which, you know, that's anybody's world. Gloria Allridge is a, is a, is a, a lawyer, as a prosecution lawyer, and she's out for blood, and she doesn't play that shit. If you look at her in the interview, everything she said about Cooper, had like, well, if he has his license, he could get them uh, reinstated. But if he doesn't, and we see he has no remorse, he will never get him back. You know what I mean? It's like that fucking grin was sinister. And I was like, this lady's out for blood and she ain't bullshitting. You know, and <clears throat> Jenny knew what she was doing. You know, and then the question you asked about Jenny, what kind of promoter was she before? You see what I'm saying? Like, what was she prior to this? What type of reputation did she have? What type of following did she have? You see what I'm saying? A lot of people do certain things for certain reasons, you know, and if it hurt her credibility as a reporter, to what extent, you know? And then you have to realistically, realistically ask yourself, okay, now they want his, because of what Bob Arum said, they want Kuprat Pulev to be suspended even longer than he was. So I understand Jenny Suchet, her livelihood was affected by being a reporter and part of the press. So I can imagine that her livelihood has been affected a great deal. But I can only imagine, but I definitely know that Kupred Pulev's career has been altered due to this suspension, you know, and realistically, how long do you want the man to stay suspended because of someone else's words or comments? You know what I mean? And they're trying to link Bob Arum's opinion to Kuprat Pulev's actions that he did prior. For that, that's wrong. You know, for that, me counterpunching that, you guys are just stirring up old shit. You know what I mean? And, and that's what it is. It's like, okay, you don't like... Bob Arum's opinion, okay, he's 85 years old. He don't give a shit what he says these days, you know, but the way they're going about it, they're trying to make that or his words accountable for what he said, you know, and, and of course he was talking about the event. So he, they're using that fuel for fire to make a case. And my thing is, if I'm Bob Arum or Kuprat Pulev, I'm like, I'm going to come to Jenny and like, dude, how much the fuck do you want? Because it's obviously some kind of dollar sign on it because she's taking the high road, the moral road. Like, look, I was slandered. I was this. I was that. But you ask yourself, how did this come about? How was this slander? How was these the, the, the video, the lap dance? And I know that's what they call slut shaming. Right. So she's a victim of slut shaming. Well. Until they go to court. Kubrat could be a victim of sexual harassment um, accusations. You know what I mean? But you look at it like this. One defeats the other. One um, minimizes the other. For example, if Jenny wouldn't have went to, to Gloria Aldridge, that video wouldn't have went out. That video was posted to expose Jenny Suchet. It was to do exposed that, hey, this ain't a squeaky clean chick, you know, that just was there for the press and for work. She was there getting drunk. She was wasted. She was doing lap dances with the crew. You, she can't deny that. That's why she stayed silent for so long, right? Now, it still doesn't 
justify what Kubrat Pulev did. It don't. You know what I mean? But you can't, it kills the perception of a person being this helpless victim that was a victim of Kubrat doing something wrong. Because it still hasn't been proven if he grabbed her ass or not. That's just her word against his. You know, so it's one of those things where <clears throat> for Bob Arum, Kuprad Pulev, guys, please shut the fuck up. Because the more you talk, the more it's going to add fuel to their fire. And I don't think you want to see Gloria Aldridge's fire at all. Because the lady's out for blood and she's out to do and to destroy lives. And that is a livelihood destroyer of your money and your assets by stopping what you do for a living. Ask Kuprat about that. And if Bob, being old as he is, like she said, hey, age don't excuse anything. Obviously not. OK, he said what he said for a reason. And she's coming after him and making him accountable also. In other words, guys, regardless of how you feel about the situation, because there is some shitty some shitty things on both sides, some things that makes you scratch your head like, OK, why were you there doing this? Then why the hell did you do that? You know, but you have to remember something. The day and the day and age we live in. If you're you do mediocre things, they are just as bad as going all the way out, you know, so don't rob a 7-Eleven, rob a bank if you're going to do anything. Right. But here's the deal. You have to be careful what you say, careful what you do, because you have certain rules that apply for those things that you say and you do. This is a delicate situation. Kuprat, if I'm Kuprat, I'm like, Bob Arab, shut the fuck up, please. Let me do my time, let me do my courses, and let me get back to fighting. You know? Stop speaking your mind, Bob. You're damn near 100 years old, but still, please, you're killing my career. You know, and if Bob's not careful and he shows up that, to that, um, that hearing, you know, and he says some of those things that, that that's really a trap for Gloria Aldridge. She's going for blood. That's what I'll say about that. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, I will leave the links below for the interviews. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.